In this video, we're going to look at the problems in the 5-2 slides. We're going to start with this problem on page 4. When an adult is randomly selected with replacement, there is a 0.85 probability that this person knows what Twitter is. Suppose we want to find the probability that exactly three of five randomly selected adults know what Twitter is. So we ask first, does this procedure result in a binomial distribution? And yes, it does. The four, it satisfies all four things that are required for a binomial distribution. There are a fixed number of trials, that's five. We're looking for five randomly selected adults. The trials are independent, it doesn't matter um, we're doing this with replacement, which we often say is not independent, but we're looking at five uh, randomly selected adults, and there are billions of adults in the world, and if we select five of them at random, there is very little chance that we're going to draw the same person twice. Um, there are exactly two categories in this case. Either the person knows what Twitter is or they don't. And finally, the probability that we're assuming is constant. So there is a um, 0.85 probability that e any person we choose, any adult we choose will know what Twitter is. Moving on. Oh, we also want to identify the values of N, X, P, and Q. In this case, n is the number of trials, so that's five. x is the number of successes that we want, which is three. p is the probability, which is 0 0.85. And q, excuse me one moment. And Q is 1 minus P, which is 0 0.15. All right, moving on to the next problem. The next problem is the same problem. Now we're going to actually calculate this. Um, so let's go over to uh, our slides. Uh, not our slides, but my, pro uh, my uh, clipboard here. And we are going to fill in this equation. We've got P of 3 is equal to 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 0 0.85 cubed times 0 0.15 to the 5 minus 3. OK, well, 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial, that's just 10. I'm just going to give you that one, times 0 0.85 cubed times 0 0.15 squared. Now, I'm not going to do that calculation by hand. Whenever I'm supposed to do something like this, I never want to do it by hand. So I'm going to go over to a good uh, graphing calculator. Or a, well, it is a graphing calculator. But we're going to do a good online graphing calculator. And I'm on the wrong page, but it's right here. And we will just plug in that information that we just had. We want to, the reason we're using a graphing calculator here is that later we're going to need to do some sums. And the graphing calculator at desmos.com can do sums, but the scientific calculator, for whatever reason, cannot. So this was 10 times. 0 0.85 cubed times 0 0.15 squared. And of course, now it doesn't want to do that. Oh, that's good. I put a comma in there. That's period. There we go. So the probability we get is about 0 0.138. Okay, this will bring us to the last problem we've got here. And here that is based on a poll, 60% of adults believe in the devil. Assuming that randomly, we 
randomly select five adults. They say to use table A1 to find the probabilities. I don't have access to table A1 online, and I'm pretty annoyed about that. They don't actually put that in the book, but they will give you the information for that um, when, when you're asked to set these problems up in the system. Instead, we are going to look at how to do this using our um, We're going to look at how to do this using uh, the formula. So coming back here, here is our formula again, and here are our values for n, x, p, and q. We've got n is 5, x is 3, p is 0 0.60, and q, which is 1 minus p, is 0 0.40. So p of 3 is going to be um, 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 0 0.60 cubed times 0 0.40 squared. And again, we'll go over to Desmos. And OK, so again, that was that uh, we had exactly the same um, choose function there. So we'll just change our probabilities here and we're all set. And there we go. That probability is 0 0.3456 that exactly three people will believe in the devil. The other question we were given here is what is the probability that the number of adults who believe in the devil is at least two? The problem with this is that this means we need to find the total no, per, the total probability for two, three, four, and five. And to do this in um, in Desmos graphing, we can use the sum function. Our minimum is going to be two, and our maximum will be five. And we just plug in our um, our function here, that's going to be 5 factorial over 5 minus 3, sorry, 5 minus n factorial times n factorial, close the parentheses, actually we don't want to close the parentheses yet, times 0 0.60 to the uh, n times 0 0.40 to the n minus x. And notice that the calculator automatically uses n for this. So despite the fact that we usually use n to be 5, we have to use it to be x here instead for all of the values that this takes on. All right, and that gives us a value of 0 0.91296. So you know, better than 90% of people, uh, better than 95%, excuse me, the probability that at least two people um, believe in the devil is better than 0.9. Okay, that is it for this video. If you have any questions, please get in touch.